Good morning, wrestling fans, and welcome to PWR today for finally Friday, December 10th, 2021. The man they call me then, and the Mots, M O T S, Matthew of the Sahara. Matthew, that's right. That's Matthew. right, because everybody knows when I go to the Sahara, I instantaneously become Matthew of the Sahara. Good morning, Meathead. Happy Friday to you. I am ready. It is Friday. You know, it's been a different week. You know, back doing work. We're not, you know, getting ready for a big, huge weekend in the Milwaukee, you know, uh, which is Algonquin for the good land. Uh, so it's it's a it's back to business weekend is what it is. Yeah. You know, and uh, I mean, but here you're in mo- still in that area. So you can still you've still got great access to the freshest cheese curds around. Well, they are definitely fresh curds up here in the Appleton Fox Valley area, but we're supposed to be getting five to six inches. That's what she said this weekend. Uh, but of the white fluffy stuff. Hey, so here's the thing. I don't know if we hadn't really talked about it on air, but Denver has been like in their longest snow drought in like since going back to the 1800s. Like we broke one record and like we're about to break another When There is a rumor that we might get a small amount of snow, which will be Denver's first snow in like 200 and some odd days. This is very, very rare for Denver. That's weird because I thought it snowed in July the last time we talked. Uh, you know, it was a different July. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Uh, enough of that. So let's talk about what you will wear on the outside of yourself if you're out in the snow. You'd wear some winter gear from Collar and Elbow, available exclusively at CollarAndElbowBrand.com. I was a little jealous last weekend of that cool, warm-looking Collar and Elbow brand hoodie that you had, Meathead. Uh you know, I've decked myself out with the short sleeve variety of the collar and elbow brand. However, with it getting a little bit colder, I, you know, wanted some of that comfort that you had last weekend. So I think I'm going to have to. I want to come with a satchel or it comes with a pouch. I've got uh, the, the hoodie pouch. Yeah. So you can put anything you want to in there. You know, you can carry, you know, some pocket dogs or you can carry <laughs> some pocket. You know, the other day. I uh, I reached into my – what was I wearing? I was wearing a coat of some sort, and I reached into uh, my pocket, and I was surprised, pleasantly surprised. I found a breakfast burrito that I had forgot I put in my pocket. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> no, no, I put it in there like like 15 minutes earlier. It was all Okay, good. fair enough. But, yeah, for a brief moment, I forgot that I had a breakfast burrito in my pocket, and then I remembered it. You know what? Come to think of it, I think I was wearing a sweatshirt. I don't think I was wearing a jacket. So this must have been my pants pocket that I found. A I will tell you that that happened once uh, to a friend of mine back in the day. He had forgot his uh, taco yeah. in his glove compartment for yeah. a month. Oh, oh. Yeah, haven't done that. I did leave some ground beef in my trunk for about two <laughs> weeks. But, you know, it, it actually turned out OK. You thought it would be terrible. But it was like it was like spring or winter, you know, like it, it hadn't gotten really warm yet. So everything was everything was good. Um, so it was refrigerated. Uh, it, it, for a, Yeah, it depends on your definition of refrigeration. But if uh, <laughs> they don't sell beef over there, but they sell great apparel at CollarAndElbowBrand.com, enter promo code Linda K L I N D A K A Y. Save yourself 10% at CollarAndElbowBrand.com. All right. So, um, you know, I want us to put out official news, right? I, I don't want us to have conjecture. I don't want us to hypothesize. I want us to give out official news. While it looks official as official gets, I don't see a statement from WWE still yeah. remaining on the internet as of this morning, but uh, Jeff Harding no longer with the company. Yeah. There was talk last weekend that uh, in the Texas run from uh, WWE that he was nowhere to be found uh, after he left a match in the middle yeah. of a six-man tag, hot tagged himself out and walked out, and we haven't seen him since. Jeff, I, I need you to hear this audio podcast, and I, I need friends of Jeff, and I need Matt to hear this too. We need you to take care of yourself. This yeah. is not the first time. It's not the last time. We all remember the infamous Sting Jeff Hardy main event on a TNA pay-per-view yeah. where Sting had to tell the crowd, I'm sorry, and finish the match within about five minutes because Jeff was in no shape. Jeff, you got to get mentally healthy. You got to get physically healthy. We've heard you do these videos where you said, you know, there was a time where you woke up on your back porch and your daughter's asking, Daddy, are you okay, Daddy? Are you okay? Jeff Hardy needs to get clean. Yeah, and we need the professional wrestling industry not to float offers, not to – we need the fans not to speculate of where is he going. No, that's that's not time for this discussion. The discussion is that he gets well, he gets healthy, and you know, hopefully this is the best thing for him. 
I don't want, because I mean, I know that Matt had said that he wanted Jeff to come to the company. I don't want Matt to say, well, if he comes to the company in AEW, maybe he can keep an eye on him. I think yeah. in the business right now, it's his demon. I think out on the road is his problem. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, absolutely. And, you know, whether having a sibling there or not, I mean, getting yeah. out there in that world at that schedule, uh, regardless of what company it is, you know, it, it's just not. It's a light schedule, which is honestly sometimes yeah. maybe one, two times a week. Yeah. It's too much. Yeah. No, absolutely. Um, I mean, I think that the priority absolutely needs to, uh, you know, be with his health. And that's that's priority number one. And I think it should be that should be the case. Um you know, right, right now, uh, definitely wish him the best. So the reason we can call this real news, even though, like I said, I could not find it as I poked around on the internet this morning, I could not find the actual press release from WWE, yeah. which either was removed or whatever you want to call it. But, um, I mean, you got guys like Biggie, you've got guys like Mustafa Ali or Mustafa Ali talking about how much they love Jeff Hardy. And they're hoping that Jeff sees this stuff. Look, we love you, Jeff. Just get healthy. No, absolutely. And and honestly, thinking about this, too, it, it makes the angle they did, what, a year ago with him and Seamus, Seamus. and where you threw the addiction angle in there, uh, that it, it wasn't it didn't age well at the time. And I feel even it's even worse. I mean, yeah, it makes much, me much worse thinking yeah. about it. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. And, you know, it's it's. It's bad anytime. It's bad, especially now after coming on the heels of the uh, Austin podcast, you know, where they, they had talked about it and he had talked about, you know, uh, this this run in WWE and how, you know, he knew that uh, more or less uh, it was his last chance. And, um, you know, and if that's the case, like this. yeah, if that's the case or if it's not the case, you know, whatever the priority is that, you know, he gets help and he gets he gets clean and he battles this addiction. Absolutely. Let's move on to some positive news here. NIL, Matthew, do you know what that acronym stands for? Go ahead and insert joke here. Nation in Luxembourg. Luxembourg. Yes. Um, and so <laughs> I can speak to this. There's an actually there is an independent nation in Luxembourg. Um, it's not recognized. Uh, They're trying to get recognized as its own entity. And there are no rules there. You can go there. Uh, you can do whatever they do except Thomas Tender. Um, <laughs> there's yeah, there's just it's like the Wild Wild West. Uh, yeah. We're getting the Wild Wild West. Jim West Desperado. All right. Next in line. Name image likeness wwe unveils the inaugural nil class now wwe has unveiled 15 college athletes who have become the first to participate in the company's newly formed nil which is name image and likeness program that provides a clear pathway from collegiate sports to wwe this is a no-brainer honestly i think for the athletes and for the wwe the inaugural next in line class will include athletes from 13 universities seven ncaa conferences and four sports in addition to the united states the class includes representation from a myriad of countries spanning from canada and nigeria now the following 15 athletes join olympic gold medalist gable stevenson who was in the draft in wwe's first of his kind nil program so i mean we're talking schools like ohio state fresno state Oklahoma State, Duke, Wake, Portland State, LSU, uh, University of Alabama, uh, University of Michigan, Kentucky, Elon University, Northwestern, Arkansas, and one more in track and field from Alabama. Uh, the reason that they can do this <coughs> is as of July 1st, 2021, the NCAA has signed into effect an historic new policy that took effect ushering in the name, image, and likeness, allowing the college athletes to the ability to monetize their name, image, and likeness. This is a long time coming. College sports has always, always been a, and I hate to say the word, but it's been kind of a, um, uh, I'm still struggling to say, it. I don't want to spit the word out. Let's just say it's an indentured service servant type of deal in college sports. These billion dollar yeah. in, you know, universities and the athletes make nothing. This is the first step. Yeah, and uh, you know I'm surprised they're just doing it to athletes, though. I mean, you can have 
you know, maybe some unathletic people that are great talkers that are great on the stick, you know, sign them too. It doesn't have to be athletic. Just sign. I, you know, I knew a couple people that I went to parties and stuff with that, you know, they didn't have a bit of athletic talent, but they could talk very well. So give them a shot too. And I hope to hear soon that, uh, you know, they got some talent maybe signed in the factory of producing professional wrestling talent. And that's all my alma mater, the College of Charleston in Charleston, South Carolina. You know, that's where Brad Maddox came from. That is where Brad Maddox came from, uh, even though he had some athletic talent, but uh, big talker. Also big on the video camera, too. I mean, that's a, another story altogether. It might have been his, I don't know what he majored in. Yeah, he might have majored in like he uh, majored in film. I think some videography. Was. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. You know, I, I told you this story before. I don't know if I've ever told it on air. I was actually supposed to interview uh, Brad Maddox before he was Brad Maddox for an interview for a publication that I worked for. And uh, he had like a something. I think he actually... He actually canceled to go surf that day. But, yeah, Matthew Thomas was supposed to interview Brad Maddox for a, uh, a widely read Charleston publication. That's ironic because he was probably filming close-ups, most likely. So Yeah, that would make sense. All right. Uh, coming up tonight on SmackDown, RK Brun is on their way to SmackDown, the Battle of the Usos and the New Day in a triple threat match. No explanation why RK Bro can make their way over to SmackDown. However, it will be a triple threat match. It'll be Kofi and King Woods, the Usos, and RK Bro. Matthew, you mentioned this off air before we jumped on. They cannot put Matt Riddle on enough WWE TV. No. Raw, NXT this week, and now SmackDown. Do you remember early, early this year when Matt Riddle's presence was just a gleam and in everybody's eye. Including that, Matthew Thomas. Including Matthew Thomas, who deemed him Matthew's Matthew to watch for 2021. And this very week, Meathead, December, the last month of 2021, Matt Riddle is on every piece of WWE programming on the USA Network. Did I call that or did I call that? And the Fox Network as well. Uh, Zia Lee also set to debut tonight on SmackDown. Uh, I really want to see her in a nice three-minute squash match. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. I've enjoyed the I've enjoyed the build up, the packages. I think it's done very well. Yeah, you know, let's uh, let's see you right there. Just let's hope she doesn't get fired next week. <sighs> you know I'm what? The meathead no. down there, but I mean, it happened before. That's what. That's the the cadence that we've seen. Yeah, it is the cadence that we've seen. Also tonight, Rampage, a lot of uh, good stuff happening. There will be a new debut as well. A wrestler that has never wrestled before on any national TV. He is the son of the suplex machine. Hook debuts tonight on Rampage. Wait a minute. Did you say uh, New Days on Rampage? Probably did. It was oh, wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said New Day Bu. New Day. New Day Bu. Oh, oh, Hook. I got you. Yeah. Uh, this will be fun, man. Hook, he's apparently got quite the following on the internet and the forums. So there's a lot of people that are, uh, you know, really excited to see Hook debut. And, and there's something involving chips, and he's got me already. He's all that, that in a bag of chips. You know what? I never knew what the chips. chips meant until that line. When they stuck that tagline with it, okay, I'm in. Have we seen any close-ups on the chips he's consuming? Is it? I would hope it's kettle cooked. I, mean, I that's think really it's the hers. Way to do a chip. Hers potato chips from uh, oh. uh, like uh, the Pennsylvania area. Interesting. Emily Can featured on the office. Yeah, no, I have to give them give them a shot. AEW tag team title match. Also, we got the Lucha Brothers taking on the AAA tag team champions FTR. Penta El Zero Miedo, uh lost his mask. There was no talk of him getting it back. Maybe he got it back when Alex was covering his face the whole time instead of, you know, yeah. helping, uh, you know, pack from the beatdown. I mean, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, one guy lost his mask. One guy who was getting his eye, his only eye guy, you know. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, which which way do you go in that situation? I guess you save the mask and not the eyeball. I mean, I guess if he had both working eyeballs, you, you'd go for the mask. And well, yeah. he got one eyeball left. No. He went to go save uh, the mask instead. So I guess the uh, heritage, I guess the lineage of being a masked wrestler, a masked luchador, uh, is more important than somebody's vision. I got a, I got a luchador mask. I should have worn that at Blizzard Brawl last week. Should have. Yeah, maybe we could have went in the front door instead of the forbidden door. <laughs> <laughs> you can go into any kind of door when you got a mask on. There you go. Uh, but uh, FTR is on a roll right now. Do they take the tag team titles tonight? 
you've seen this match so much, and the but fact that that they, 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 that they they haven't gone past it gives me a sneaking suspicion that we might just see that. Have we seen? I'm trying to think. Have we seen a title change on Rampage yet? Yes. Debut episode uh, of Rampage. TNT. Kenny Omega dropped the Impact Championship. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Have we seen an AEW title change on Rampage? TNT Championship. I think that's where Miro lost it to Sammy Yeah, that's what, that's what I was trying to remember. Yeah, I, I, I think you might see it tonight. Okay. Um, and that's fine, you know, because the team they call Meatheads – has the Lucha Brothers, but if they lose it tonight on Rampage, that is uh, no loss, no skin off my back. Yeah, you know, it is a non-pay-per-view event, so you would not uh, be be penalized for that. Ruby Soho, Anna Jay, and Tay Conte taking on Nala Rose, the Bunny, and Penelope for in six-woman tag. Uh, this will be good. I mean, these are, you know, six stars of the women's division, and um, they don't... I don't think they overutilize the multi women tags the way they do the multi men tags. So I'm I'm looking forward to this. We've also got Adam Cole with the Bucks and Bobby Fish taking on Wheeler Yuta from the Best Friends. Remember, Trent's mom is in the house. Yeah. So that means Trent's in the house as well. No, absolutely. And uh that worked really, really well a couple of nights ago. So gonna be interested to see how the flow is on Rampage here with four matches. Flow from progressive? Yeah, she might very well be there. She's fr- friends with uh, Trent's mom, I think. Well, I mean, you know, they both, you know, sell insurance. Obviously, yeah, you've, Trent's mom is ensuring that Trent gets to the matches on time. Yeah, and you've got to insure that minivan. One other quick news item. Uh, Pat McAfee signed a massive deal with FanDuel. I don't know that I like, and this has happened in pro sports the last two years now, where FanDuel and the, the betting apps, yeah. DraftKings and all that, have uh, pushed for legislation to yeah. allow them to get in, they've got their foot in the door, and now they're in and on wrestling as well. Yeah, yeah, it's it's wild, man. I mean, just just going to how ESPN has changed, where you're actually showing odds on your ticker on. Well, that ESPN. was a thing back in the day too. Jimmy the Greek, Jimmy yeah, Rick yeah. Snyder on CBS way back in the day on uh, NFL or uh, uh, the the NFL on CBS, you know, morning show. Yeah. You know, it just it seems so much more prevalent now. So it's the times they are a change in me here. Well, I mean, they've got a team in Vegas, and that's really yeah. what opened the door, the forbidden door, if you will. Absolutely. Well, Matthew, that has been a very long and a very wrestling packed week. Uh, coming up, we've got no pay per views this weekend. We've got just Raw. We've just got SmackDown. There's no WWE pay per view for the month of December. Nothing from AEW. What are we gonna do? You know what? Uh, you're going to binge season two of Ruthless Aggression on the WWE Network. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. I mean, there is a Rey Mysterio animated series being made right now. Hey, you know, I mean, I, I catch an episode or two. Uh, there's one other thing I want to bring up here. Uh, apparently, Tony Khan says WWE has recently reached out to him about interviewing former WWE wrestlers who now work in AEW. I gotta assume it's for their video packages, yeah. Ruthless Aggression, and you know the other packages that they do. I think that's a win-win to have AEW pop up on the WWE network. No, hundred um, percent. I definitely think it is, and I mean. Tony Khan, man, his forbidden door. You got to think it goes both ways. And you remember, know, Jericho can, did the Stone Cold podcast as yeah. a member of AEW. Yeah, yeah, no. And, and I mean, there's got to be a little give and take. And you know, this is a world where Christian showed up on a TNA pay per view one time. Um, so I just here's the thing, Meathead. I, the I know it sounds ridiculous, but I don't think. The reality where you actually have some type of dream scenario of AEW, WWE having talent go back and forth or appear on a mega event and make a buku ton of money off of a mega card. That is not outside of reality as I would have thought it a couple of years ago. Words, no, no. And, and just, I go back to the fact that any. AEW show you watch now. I mean, even something that we were a little bit on the on the fence about, you know, the Punk and MJF thing in Long Island. WWE's not getting that reaction anywhere. 
it would behoove them to be involved with AEW and get the rub from AEW. 100%. And, and by that rub, I mean the excited fan reaction. Um, I mean, it's just, it's a they rare commodity. Get- it's a rare commodity now, Meathead, seeing anybody in a WWE audience get up. Maybe that's out why of their Jeff seats. left. He had had enough. <laughs> yeah, it's it's possible. I'm not trying to make a joke of it. I'm being yeah. very serious. Yeah, no, it's right. it's it's possible. Well, Matthew, that has been our week. So for Matthew Thomas, the man they call Meathead, thanks for stopping by. Linda K, again, thank you for stopping by. We will talk with Linda and uh, myself Monday morning. So long, everyone.